nature center and little meeting locations here and then right through the end of this is the uh, tower trail the blue trail we'll head down this little boardwalk and on to the tower trail trails marked pretty well with blue blazes uh, part of it is paved not all of it but it's all still pretty smooth and pretty easy to walk along certainly good for kids and uh, you can probably get wheels in here as well real pretty in here there's a blue blaze most of the buildings in here for the World War I camp had to be built on stilts because it was so swampy still a lot of swampy areas so there's a lot of board walking that's been done in here This is part of one of the old brick roads that were built through here uh, during World War I, some say even before World, the World War I camp. Um, there was so much traffic coming down here that they made these roads one way, one way going in to work in the morning and they'd turn around and have a one way going out in the afternoon. So these bricks here were laid about 1916, 1917, something like that. Very pretty in here, you can see over the 50 or 100 years after all the trees were cut down, they've come back pretty well. And you can see the trail's pretty nice, pretty flat, other than some roots and stuff, why it's not even too bumpy. Not bad at all. Further along now on another boardwalk and down there is more of the old one of the old brick roads this let last boardwalk leads down there to the tower you can see the tower down there but it's closed right now for here in April of 2020 for maintenance so we won't bother walking all the way down there but when it's open you can walk up there and see quite a bit Right when you come off the boardwalk that goes to the tower, watch for this mark in here. You take a right to continue the tower trail loop. Trail comes out on one of the old brick roads. And we get to walk just a little ways on the road, which is kind of neat. So the brick road goes that way. That's the end of the trail area. But then we head on down this way on the brick road just a little bit. Then after a very short walk, out for these double blazes indicating that the trail goes back off to the right and back into the woods. We're coming up on one of my favorite trees of all time. Check that out. You have to wonder what sort of forces cause that tree to make so many changes mind so much. I love that tree. Isn't that neat looking? One more look from the other side. Trail comes out on another brick road. And if you're going to follow the blue trail, we'll go to the right. This seems to me to have been a major intersection here when the camp was here. See a lot of small hills and stuff like that that hide foundations. Some 
stone over here that indicates some sort of foundation for buildings. So this was probably a major part of the camp. But we'll head down this dirt road. You can see the blue blaze there. And uh, till we get to the dog run, then we'll turn. Okay, here's where we turn in. And the trail goes along a huge fenced-in dog park. So in addition to the mountain bike trail, the archery range just has a huge free run dog dog run for for you to bring your pup back on the paved trail here it leads back up to the nature center so that's the blue trail pretty good great for kids great for folks who just want to do a short walk